and love to everybody out there. Uh, we're sharing the word of God today and uh, we're going to go into Romans chapter 3 uh, today in the word of God, Romans chapter 3. And uh, these are the words that we read in Romans uh, chapter 3. What advantage then of the Jew or what profit is the of circumcision much in every way chiefly because that unto them were co were committed the oracles of God for what it did, some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect God forbid ye let God be true but every man a liar as it is written that thou mightst be justified in thy sayings that thou might overcome when thou art judged but if our unrighteousness command the righteousness of God what shall we say is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance I speak as a man God forbid for then how shall God judge the world for if the truth of God have more abounded through my life unto his glory why yet am I judged as a sinner and not rather as we be slanderous reported and as some affirm that we say let us do evil that good may come whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise. For we have before proved both Jew. Hi, bro, how's it going? How's it going, mate? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Let me ask you a question. Do you believe Jesus? No, I believe in the devil. Why? Jesus sits on the right hand side of right hand side of God. Keep trusting him, that's what I say. Well, come and have a chat, mate. It's not Jeremy Carl's show. It says, Now, then, are we better than they, knowing no wise, for we have before proved the Jew and Gentile that they all, all under sin. The first thing to remember is when we have all these questions about uh, why does God allow suffering in the world, why is all this suffering, why are all these problems, etc., you have to remember that God is righteous, that God is pure and perfect, that God cannot lie. So when we try to condemn God, when we try to judge God, we have to remember that God is righteous, that there is none righteous in the world but God, that the only person who is holy is God. And unfortunately for us, we keep judging God. Why does he allow wars? Why does he allow this? Why does he allow that? But wait a minute. If there is a God, surely he's perfect. You can't be a God unless you're perfect. Wouldn't you agree? Or else you wouldn't be God. It's too loud, is it? Okay, I'll turn it down a bit. Thank you, dear. God bless you. Yes? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you do you believe him as your saviour? Do you believe him as your saviour? Yes, you trust him. You trust him as your saviour. Uh, born again Christian. Born again. Born again, yeah? Huh? Have you heard of born again Christian? I'm born again. No, by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. Now, if there is a God, surely God is perfect. And if God is perfect, why do we judge Him? Why can we say, why does God allow wars? Why does God allow suffering? But if God is perfect, that's a silly question to ask. It says, 